Cost Volume Profit Analysis. CVP Analysis is a systematic examination of the relationships among cost, cost driver, and profit. The Contribution Margin Income Statement. The cost and expenses in the Contribution Margin Income Statement are classified as two behavior variable and fixed. So, unlike siya ng traditional income statement, ang classification ng expenses sa income statement, contribution margin, ay variable and fixed lang. The amount of contribution margin, which is the difference between sales and variable cost shown. So, ito yung pro forma nung tinatawag nating contribution margin income statement. So, pansin natin sa kanyang format is hindi siya katulad ng traditional income statement wherein revenue less expenses equals profit. So, sa contribution margin income statement, so sales less variable cost and the difference between the sales and variable cost, yun yung contribution margin less Total fixed cost, then yun na yung income before tax. So, ito yung pro forma na, ng contribution margin income statement. And yung expenses nga, kagaya ng nabanggit kanina, is classified lang siya, or classified lang siya as to behavior, meaning classified lang siya as the variable and fix. So, recall lang natin, variable cost, ito yung mga cost that change in the total as the level of activity changes. Examples nito yung mga direct materials, direct labor, and some factory overhead. So, example, direct materials. Siyempre, nagbabari ang cost ng direct materials sa level ng production. Meaning, the more production, the more direct materials cost. The more production, direct, the more direct labor. So, ganun yung variable cost. Fixed cost. Ang fixed cost naman, ito naman yung mga cost that remain constant in total regardless of changes in the level of activity. So, example nito, depreciation, um, taxes on real estate and insurance. Bakit siya fixed cost? Kasi mag-produce ka man ng 1,000, mag-produce ka man ng 10,000 units or mag-produce ka man ng wala or walang production. Nandun pa din yung fixed cost. Mai-incur mo pa din yung fixed cost. So basically, ganun yung tinatawag na fixed cost. And yung contribution margin naman, which is the difference between the sales and the variable cost, ito yung amount na nako-contribute sa profit. So let's say for example, ang selling price per unit is 10. And the variable cost per unit is 5. Therefore, the contribution margin per unit is 5. Dahil 10 minus 5 equals 5. Ano naman ang ibig sabihin ng contribution margin? Ibig sabihin lang nito, for every benta mo ng product, merong 5 pesos per product na malalagdag sa profit mo. May 5 pesos per product na magko-contribute doon sa profit mo. So, basically, ganun ang contribution margin. Break-even analysis. Break-even point is the sales volume level in pesos or in units where total revenue equals total cost. And in break-even point, there is neither profit nor loss. So, sa madaling salita, ang break-even point, ito yung sales volume in units and sales volume in pesos wherein ang profit is zero. Walang profit, walang loss. Okay, illustration, single product, break-even calculations. Basic illustration, corporation produces and sells a single product. The selling price is 25 and the variable cost is 15 per unit. 
the corporation's fixed cost is 100,000 per month. Average monthly sales is 11,000 units. Okay, recall natin yung contribution, margin income statement sa number 1. Number 1, we have sales, variable cost, equals contribution margin pag pinag-minus, less fix cost, ito yung profit. Okay, sales. Quantity average 11,000 times the selling price 25. 11 times 25 pesos. 11,000 times 25 pesos equals 275,000. Variable cost 11,000 units times 15. That is 165,000 contribution margin 275 minus 165 equals 110 okay or 11,000 times kung ang sales ay 25 at ang variable cost is 15 per unit therefore the contribution margin per unit ay 10 pesos Less the fixed cost 100,000. Profit 10,000 pesos. Ang tanong, contribution margin per unit. Okay, so contribution margin per unit is equal to the sales is 25 per unit. The variable cost is 15 per unit. Therefore, CM per unit I. 10 pesos or weathering 110,000 which is the contribution margin divided by number of units sold 11,000 equals 10 pesos per unit and as a percent of sales or the contribution margin ratio so, ang contribution margin ratio is the ratio of contribution margin to sales. So, contribution margin ratio is equal to, ang contribution margin natin per unit is 10 divided by contribution margin, ah sorry, sales per unit, 25. 10 divided by 25 equals 40 percent or weathering ang contribution margin natin ay 110,000 divided by sa sales amount 275,000 equals 40 percent number 2 the corporation's break even point is Kapag break-even point, ang profit ay zero. Okay, gawin muna natin yung contribution margin income statement. We have sales, variable cost, contribution margin, fixed cost, profit. Okay, kapag break-even point, ang profit ay zero. Fixed cost ay 100,000. Ang sales ay 25 pesos per unit. Variable cost ay 15. Contribution margin is 10. Ang, ang hinahanap natin, break-even point. And ang break-even point in terms of units and pesos. So, walang units na given. Kagawin natin work back okay kung zero ito at may fixed cost na 100,000 therefore the contribution margin is 100,000 then 100 minus 100 zero kung ang contribution margin per unit ay 10 pesos 
Therefore, the number of units sold is 10,000 units. 100,000 divided by 10 pesos equals 10,000 units. Okay, paano nga itong ginawa natin? I-express natin in terms of formula. Break-even point in units is equal to Ang natin ginawa, in back natin, nag back tayo, no? So, 0 plus 100,000 na fixed cost. So, kinonsider natin yung fixed cost. Then, para makuha natin yung break-even point in units, dinivide natin yung fixed cost over contribution margin per unit check na natin the fixed cost is 100,000 divided by the contribution margin per unit which is 10 therefore the break even point in units is 10,000 units Ang break-even point natin in terms of units is 10,000 units. And ang break-even point natin in terms of pesos naman is 250,000 pesos. Which is, na-derive siya from multiplying the break-even point in units times the selling price na 25. Okay. Kanina, nag-compute tayo ng CM ratio which is 40%. Kung ang 100,000 dito ay contribution margin and the contribution margin ratio is 40%. Kapag dinivide natin yung 100,000 sa 40%, makukuha natin yung sales amount. Therefore, to compute the break-even point in terms of pesos, Break-even point equals fixed cost divided by the CM ratio. Fixed cost is 100,000 pesos. CM ratio is 40%. 100,000 divided by 40% equals 250,000 pesos. Bakit fixed cost ang numerator? Remember kapag break-even point at break-even point, ang profit natin ay zero. At kapag ang profit ay zero, ang contribution margin equal sa fixed cost. Dahil contribution margin minus fixed cost equals profit. And since na break-even point is meaning no profit, no loss, the fixed cost is equal to contribution margin. Kaya, contribution, kaya fixed cost ang numerator sa ating mga formula.